Processing for Arduino, episode number four, Bluetooth communication. So in this episode, we are going to take a look at how you can use a Bluetooth module with the Arduino. And um, <coughs> if you've got a laptop with a built-in Bluetooth, um, or if uh, you've got a USB dongle, you can plug in your computer. You can use the Bluetooth instead of the cable to communicate back and forth between the Arduino and the computer. Now, um, HCL6 is the Bluetooth module that you probably want to use the Arduino or HCL5. Either will work. HCL6 is just a tiny bit cheaper and it's just a slave, but an HCL5 will work as well. And there are some other ones out there, but the, the HCL5s and 6s are the two most common and they're the, the least expensive and they work great. So I do recommend them. And like I said, if the computer you are using does not have uh, Bluetooth, all you're going to need is one of them little Bluetooth dongles, USB dongles. And I actually got two of them for, I think it was like a dollar something. It was under two dollars. I got two of them and that was shipping included. And um, I do remember it was on eBay, not Amazon, because Amazon's usually just a little bit more expensive and on a cheap little gadget like that, um, I'd usually just go to eBay because it's cheaper. All right, with that, uh, I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you quickly how to set it up with processing so you can make it communicate. So the first thing you're going to need to do is um, actually connect the two or let them know that they both exist. So we're going to go under our Bluetooth. Now I'm using Windows uh, 7 here. Windows 10 will be slightly different, but close enough that you, you should be able, from watching this tutorial, be able to still do it. So we want to go our Bluetooth, and we want to add a device. So it's searching. It picked up my phone. And there it is right here. This, um, I actually renamed this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Renamed this Bluetooth module for a previous project. I just haven't renamed it yet, but I know this is my HC06 right here. Oh, and if you're curious on how to rename your HCL 6s and 5s, uh, just check out my channel. Um, it's actually a fairly old video, but it is on there and how to do it. If I remember, I'll put a link below. If I forget, leave, leave a comment and uh, I'll go ahead and put it, but I'll try to remember to put that in there. But I know this is it right here, so I'm going to click on it. Now we need to pair it. Now, um, <laughs> you are going to have to enter the code. Now, most of the time, it's one, two, three, four. Now, on some of them, it is zero, one, two, three. Now, if I remember right, this particular one was the one, two, three, four. So I'm going to try that first. The one, two, three, four is uh, a little more common. Okay, it paired. So that's all you got to do. That's it. That's all you got to do with the computer. Now, I have found that after you do this, before you want to actually connect to the HC06, this is just um, pairing it and getting it so that they'll be able to work with each other. Uh, I, I found that you usually have to restart the computer. You're just going to start having problems that don't want to work. So for some reason, maybe Windows 10 is different or maybe it's just my computer, but I do recommend at this point, you know, close it out and then just restart your computer. So it'll be good. Well, the next thing we need to do is, oh, let me, we got to go back, um, go into there. And now uh, I just double clicked on it. But otherwise, you can go into your control panel and go under devices and printers, and you'll find the same, the same tab under there. But uh, <coughs> what we want to do is click on it. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's been a while since I've done this. Okay, I had gotten it earlier. Whoops. Ah. All right, what am I doing wrong here? I have done this before. And what I did was double click on it and then I could find I need to know the COM port. And it 
It has been a while since I did this. Sorry, it's taking me a moment here. Okay, here it is. All right, I see. All right, I'm on COM5. All right, so you got to go under hardware and then click on properties. And it'll say right here, I'm guessing under port setting. Um, all right, um, that Bluetooth device, if you have changed the, uh, the baud rate, this is where you change it right there. Another thing I forgot to... I almost forgot about that. Um, out of the box, the HCL5s and HCL6s are 9600. Unless you go into the AT commands and change it, just leave all this alone. Now you can go into here and it, this tells you the COM port we're on because we need to know that. Now if you change USB plugs, if you take it out of one socket and put it in another, you're going to have to come in here and find out what COM port that is. Now on Apple, it's different. I'm sorry, I don't own any Apple devices, so I would not be able to help you out there. But uh, for PC and Windows here, this is it. So now that we know we want COM5, I can go ahead and close all this on. I am sorry, it took me a moment to remember that. It has been a while since I've done this. That teaches me next time I go to do a video, I'll have to check things first just so that don't happen. But all right. I've got here, this is a sketch um, we did a while back for, uh, well, this is in the processing, of course, and this was for um, just a button to uh, send to turn, if I remember right, it was to turn an LED off and on on the Arduino board. <clears throat> and I'm just using this for example because any of your sketches for the processing, you're going to have this line right here. Now, unless you change the name, you know, if you change it from port to something else, that's the name you put here. And this right here is what you got to change. Now, I was, um, this here was a cabled connection that I was using at the time. And that was COM3. Well, I'm on the uh, Bluetooth now, and the Bluetooth module is connected to COM5. Now, all we got to do now is run it in the two, until you run the sketch they will not connect but then they will automatically connect when you run this now i do not believe this will run at the moment i do have the hc06 plugged in but i didn't restart the computer so it might and it might not we'll see here it's trying to do something but it's looking like uh Uh, I can see the light on the dongles flashing and blinking like crazy. So they're trying to connect. But I think um, what's going on here is I didn't restart the computer. And I have ran into this before. It starts glitching out. doesn't want to work. I reboot the whole system after I get them paired. And then it works. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe that is just something you're supposed to do. I don't know if you know the answer to that, leave a comment. Uh, Leave a comment. I would be interested to know. But with that, that's all there is to it. I'm not going to bother putting any code up or anything on the website because I'll, you know, I'm just taking a previous sketch and I just show you all you got to do right here is just change, you know, your com to whatever com that you have the USB dongle on. Or if you're not using the USB dongle, if you have the internal like a laptop, it's built in. You will still find a com for that, and you'll be able to find it like I showed you. It, <clears throat> it'll it'll be the same thing. So, all right. Um, well, with that, I think we'll just wrap this up. And uh, well, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. I know it's been a couple weeks since I did uh, one of these Arduino videos. Don't worry, more will be coming. Oh, yeah, she did finally glitch out here because I stopped that. But like I said, that's because I didn't restart the computer. But all right, well. Get back to it. I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. Don't worry, there will be more videos coming on the Arduino and processing and that. And I also do a few other videos here and there on photography and a little bit of cooking here and there and just throw in a little variety, but mostly, mostly Arduino and processing videos. So, all right, I hope you have a great day and remember, have fun programming.